What's going on guys? I am Chase and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a shiny new lid that I am absolutely infatuated with. This is Shoei's X14. So guys, welcome to another episode in my first fit series where I check out some gear, ride around with it for a couple weeks, and then I'll let you guys know my initial thoughts. Now, today the baller scale, it's pretty high. We all know showy helmets for being expensive and high quality, and the X14 does not disappoint in either of those categories. Let's look at some specs. So guys, the X14 comes in at $680, and keep in mind that the one you're looking at has the dark smoke visor, and that's gonna set you back another 55 bucks. So we're not talking about a low cost helmet. The shape of the helmet is an intermediate oval, which means it's slightly longer front to back than it is side to side. Weight wise, it's gonna come in at 3.62 pounds. Uh, for comparison, my variant back there is 3.79 pounds. Why am I doing this video? All right, the tripod is now going to hold the helmet. This will be this will be my pretend uh, helmet counterpart. Okay, cool. So guys, when Show was making this helmet, they had three main criteria. They wanted the ventilation to be solid. They wanted it to be durable. They wanted it to be lightweight. Now I've ridden around with this thing for a couple weeks now, and what I can tell you is that it is actually lightweight. It does have really good ventilation. I haven't crashed in it yet, so I haven't tested the durability, but I'm not really a big fan of testing that for my first fit videos. Anyway, what I can tell you is it is DOT approved and Snell certified, so it should be solid. The helmet also has an EQRS system installed, which basically is a system that lets a medical professional easily remove a rider's head from the helmet without having to move their neck around a lot by pulling on these little red straps at the bottom of the helmet. Now it even comes with this little sticker at the bottom to let you know about the EQRS system, and if you were to go down on a track, I'm sure the medical professionals there would know about it so they wouldn't damage your neck while trying to get your helmet off. The only thing I worry about is if you're riding on the road, what are the odds that a regular medical professional is going to be trained with an EQRS system to look for that in a motorcycle helmet? I appreciate the fact that it's in the helmet, but I just worry that most people aren't going to know they're there to help you when you wreck on a normal road. Regardless, it is an added safety feature that I do appreciate. So replacing the shield on this helmet was extremely easy. Shoei has on it what they call a QRE base plate system, which allows for toolless shield removal. Now, as an Icon variant user, the fact that I didn't have to use a tool to get the shield off was absolutely fantastic. It took like 10 seconds, and I never found any issues where I had a problem with the tab setting in once I got the shield on. So speaking of the visor, it has a nice solid feel and supposedly it gives you 99% protection from UVA and B rays, which was a nice little bonus. They also have a, and I'm quoting this from their website, exclusive patent pending vortex generators on the side to reduce air friction. Now I'm a simple man and not well versed in the science of air friction, so I went to their website and I'll give them credit. The X14 page has a awesome images of explaining what the helmet can do and what it's built up of, but let me break it down for you. Those little things on the side, those are vortex generators and supposedly they help the aerodynamics of the helmet. Now during my testing, I couldn't really tell the difference with the vortex generators, but that could be because I don't ride fast enough to deal with air friction? A couple more notes on the shield were the satisfying clicks you get when moving it up and down. When I'm paying this much for a helmet, I better have a solid visor that doesn't move around on me, so I was happy to see this. It also has a double shield locking system to prevent from opening when you don't want it to. I felt like this worked a little too good because there were a couple times I felt like I was about to break my neck trying to pop the visor open. I'm sure once I wear it in a little bit, it won't be so hard to just pop open with a thumb. Speaking of the aerodynamics of this helmet, I thought they were absolutely incredible. I can honestly say I have never ridden with a helmet that had this little force on my head while riding down the highway. I could move my head all around and in no position did I feel the wind pushing my head in a certain way, which was honestly a little weird at first. But after riding down the highway for a little while, I quickly got used to it and I enjoyed the hell out of it. So against my better judgment, I thought what better way to test the ventilation of the X14 than to take it out on a 95 degree Atlanta summer day and ride around with it with the visor shut. 
We're talking red light to red light with slow moving traffic. And honestly, it was terrible. But as any helmet would be regardless of the ventilation. I can happily say that once I even got slightly moving, just the tiniest bit, there was plenty of air to start cooling me down instantly. One way this helmet does that is it actually has a cheek pad cooling system where it vents air from the front of the helmet in through the cheek pads and then out of the back of the helmet. And that actually worked really good. So my final big takeaway from testing this helmet was what ended up being my favorite part of the entire helmet and that's comfort. I can honestly say this is the most comfortable helmet I have ever ridden in. Now don't get me wrong, I love my Icon variant, but le let me just show you the process of putting both helmets on. Okay, so now let's put on the X14. Now once both helmets are on, they feel snug and safe to ride in, but, and it could have been a placebo effect, but when I was riding in the X14, the interior liner felt a little more soft and comfortable and a little more higher quality. So on Twitter, I asked you guys, what do you look for in a helmet? Now, a lot of you guys said a lot of stuff that I kind of expected, but a lot of you guys said you wear prescription glasses and you want to know how the helmet feels with glasses on. I've got a pair of glasses. For this video, my safety glasses will be playing the role of uh, prescription glasses that people would typically wear. Here we go. <clears throat> Oh my god, it's behind my ear. Shit. Alright, glasses on. Um, they were a pain in the ass to get on, but once they're on, they feel, they actually feel really good. Why is that so hard to get on? Yeah. Let me try, I'm gonna try it again. Yep. Okay, so uh, confirmed, getting the glasses on, giant pain in the ass. Once the glasses are on, super comfortable. I, that's so weird. And guys, that is the X14 from Shoei. It is expensive as hell, but you know what? I can finally see why so many people spend so much money on these damn helmets. There was not a single time while I was riding around with this helmet that anything felt less than top quality. It was a pretty magical experience, I've gotta say. Now I know that's something stupid to say about a helmet, but when you stick your head into a small confined space for long periods of time, it's pretty nice for, to have it surrounded with some top quality stuff. Now I'm not saying everybody should go out and get a Shoei X14 because the price is way on up there. But what I'm saying is if you've got the money to invest in what you stick your head in while you ride, that thing is pretty freaking phenomenal. So if you want to check the helmet out for yourself, you guys know I got you a link in the description. And other than that, that's it for this first fit video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to do me a solid and hit that like button. It helps the channel out, which helps me out, which helps me do better videos for you guys. And I'm Chase, and I will see you guys on the next one. Later.